I was born in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, my family came here as refugees from Uganda. This country literally saved my parents' life. So from a very young age that I knew I wanted to serve or do something in public service, you know, in politics, um, with educational opportunity, because so much of the reason I'm sitting here right now is because of education. I was the first Indian American woman to run for, for office. Uh, was probably one of the youngest women to run for Congress that year. So uh, politics has always been a huge part of who I am. Um, I believe that so many people, so many young people, so many immigrants, so many, a lot of women, they, they don't participate in the process and they desperately need a voice. I didn't get elected. Uh, I lost twice. I'm not a computer scientist. I didn't major in computer science. I mean, how does a woman like me start an organization called Girls Who Code? And that happened because through my political campaign, I really saw that many young women in our city and in our country weren't getting access to opportunity. And by them not having access to technical skills, there were problems that we just weren't solving because women were going to solve these problems. Girls are going to solve these problems, and they're going to solve it with tech. Well, I love it when my girls tell me, I love to dance and I love to code. Like, we're complex. You don't have to choose. It's not one or the other. You can do both. They're change agents. They're like, you know, they come out of the womb almost like social entrepreneurs. They want to actually make the community, make the world better. Maybe their mother's obese and they want to build an app to help fight obesity. Maybe they had a brother who had dyslexia. You know, maybe they went to Africa to visit a relative and they saw that so many women were, you know, carrying water and it just was an inefficient system and how could they help them? They're constantly thinking about what they can do to be, to help and to make the world better. I see girls in my program who leave, who leave shelters and go learn how to computer program at, you know, Barry Diller's IAC or at Facebook. And I see girls whose families come from nothing who are learning how to code and on their way to getting a job uh, at a tech company or on their way to building a company and literally taking their family up into the middle class. I mean, that's my story. My parents came here with nothing as refugees and I was able to go to Harvard and to go to Yale and to run for office and to be a social entrepreneur because of educational opportunity. I'm a feminist. I feel very strongly about the plight of women and girls. And when I look at the United States Congress, when I look at Fortune 500 companies, I don't see the world that I want to live in. You know, women need to become and have the opportunity to become leaders of this country. And, and the way that I'm trying to fight for this and address this problem is, is through tech. But there's so many other, there's so much more to do.